What's up my Pungios, Andy with Andy Vlogs, excited to share with you guys this content here. As the title suggests, we're going to be going over the newly released Volta Remote and Battery Charger unit for the GoPro Hero 10 and GoPro Hero 9. I'm really, really excited about this because finally they're able to put all of their accessories together, give you a remote that isn't overly priced, and also be able to allow you to connect with the media mod with all of the things. <laughs> You know, obviously the one drawback here is that you do lose some of that IPS rating. You're not going to be able to let it get snowy or wet or go underwater. Nonetheless here, um, this is a, an awesome product here for someone like me who vlogs, who does, you know, stuff out at Disneyland, who uh, goes out on adventures and walks and whatnot. I want to be able to vlog 5.3K30 and not have it overheat. I wanna be able to have something that lasts longer than maybe an hour or two of on-time recording. And so I've gone ahead and picked this up as well as the new Enduro battery. Now, uh, this is the second Enduro battery that I've done, so I'm not gonna really do a big push for this, but uh, I wanted to pick up another one because again, I'm a subscriber, it's on sale, and uh, I think it's gonna go really well with the Volta, and you guys can uh, check out those links down below in the description. With that said, guys, this is not a sponsorship. I actually got this a couple days early because uh, I am a subscriber. With that said, uh, let's go ahead and uh, set everything up, unbox it, and then get, uh, get on to the vlog. All right, the unboxing of these GoPro devices, I, I can't stand them, they're just so annoying. Because they like, I mean, just the seam right here is not fun to peel off because it's like surgically uh, suctioned and glued to it and you end up just like making a mess now like if i want to return this then now we've got a mess that gopro make it much easier like like apple or whatever whatever i can't believe i'm saying that here it is here we go all right so a few things about this uh, right off the bat comes with a thumb screw usb type c cable to charge uh, your battery device and then it's even got finally the webcam door i'm sure they made millions of these and then no one ever bought them because no one ever uses their gopro as a camera i did and you can check out that video nonetheless they've got this open uh screen door thing that you replace yours with to be able to place in uh the wired connection uh, what's nice though is they do make it so it does have the rubber seal which gives you some protection but i wouldn't be submerging this anytime soon okay we're going to be bringing this here in close you can see this looks very much like the remote here that uh you know i've reviewed previously except the lcd screen you got your button and then you've got the different modes here on the side to be able to change everything that you need uh, all here on one interface you got the bluetooth connection battery you know play pause record shutter that good stuff mode uh, and i don't see any other buttons here is uh, where you're going to be placing the device here they did want to let me know that this actually does pivot but um, i think you have to have the gopro on it in order to pivot you've obviously got your usb type c cable that is uh, mounted pretty strongly here i think to the side which may or may not be able to be removed I'm peeling back this little cage here and it's revealing that's the USB type C battery. So you do have it sealed here, hopefully to provide some extra protection. But again, I wouldn't be submerging this anytime soon. You can see here are the legs of the tripod. There's a secret compartment here for an additional uh, mount. And I believe this is where you mount it on your chest. If you have a backpack that has the mounting plate. Otherwise, um, if you wanted to have an additional accessory like let's say the selfie cam or maybe some of the other mods, uh, you do have it right here. Or even if you wanted to have two, you could have a front and back, one facing this way and one facing that way if you wanted to have it, uh, a dual camera kind of a thing. Opening up the legs here for the first time, this certainly feels like, it definitely feels like the three-way 2.0. It is uh, pretty robust. You can see that you've got the tooling here to be able to help engineer and protect uh, against falling. Um, these legs seem pretty sturdy. This base is pretty big. And uh, just to let you know, it does not extend. There's no extension aspect to it. So this is a Disney friendly, which I think is nice. Although I think having a tripod like this might rule it out. Um, I wouldn't uh, bet it on it though. You've got a nice uh, wrist strap. I've always liked GoPro's wrist strap. And on the back, you've got, on the bottom, you've got a quarter inch mount. Alrighty, now we're gonna move on here to attaching the media mod. So you're gonna need to take off again uh, this uh, cover. Uh, you're going to leave it open and exposed there. 
snap it there, and now you've got yourself your uh, your device, your media mod. Uh, you've got these three different flaps here to be able to, to output to HDMI, USB Type-C, and then also a 3.5 millimeter audio. Uh, when connecting the device here, it's gonna be a little tricky. Uh, I've noticed with the media mods, it's, it's not easy to be able to place it on. So you're gonna actually need to have this, uh, this little nut here, this uh, metal part facing on the left because you can only put the screw on the right. So make sure that you pay attention to that. All right, from here then, we're gonna go ahead and plug it into the middle one. This is the USB type C. This makes uh, the media mod not waterproof. Again, I'm not gonna be soaking this anywhere. I'm not even gonna be taking this out on any like rain or snow or any of that kind of thing. Let's go ahead and go over the mobility here now. Uh, ideally, this, is, this cord is supposed to be able to wrap all the way around if I wanna turn it into selfie mode. We still have no problem here. If I then wanted to turn it here to put it on my chest, if I had the backpack or the, the mount on the backpack, you still can, which is nice. Uh, you can take that off and button it back in. So, you know, you're not getting too much of a, of, a, of a pull here unless you wanted to pull it all the way around. Some weird circle here, which I recommend not. Just go the right direction. All right, Ponyos, here is the rig. This is the whole mount. Obviously, I can interchange these if I wanted to have the microphone on the top and the light on the side, but uh, there you have it. You've got your um, light mod. You can have the, uh, the mount here, the cold shoe mount for the external microphone. You still have the ability to switch it to selfie mode and have it pivot, which is nice. Uh, it's not in the way of any of the buttons um, and uh, it just looks good. With that said, let's go ahead and uh, pair it to the device and then we will show you on then we will show you on location uh, what this whole thing is going to look like and how long this actually lasts. All right, my ponyos, we're here on location with the Volta and I've done my analysis here of the battery and there's some amazing things that are happening here. So I'm going to throw up on the uh, screen right here the outcome of my, uh, my test. I did four tests. I tested the battery separate, then I tested each type of battery with the Volta and I found some amazing um, results. So obviously the Enduro is about 12 to 15 percent more efficient than the regular battery uh, But then when you have the Volta on it's like 228 percent. So that means that you're getting basically two and a quarter batteries uh, For that time which makes sense because each battery lasts you about an hour or so Maybe two hours depending on what the settings are and in many instances I was getting almost up to four hours of playback for the 5.3k video. I didn't test the 4k video because they already tested it and they already have all the results. It obviously plays over four hours constantly, but this was non-stop. I just set it, hit record, and boom. We had uh, almost four hours on the 4 point, on the 5.3k uh, 30 frames a second. Pretty amazing. So they're not kidding. This is awesome. It's if you're going to be going to Disneyland and you don't want to unpack that much and uh, you want to have something that's handheld but also has the camera here, this is absolutely what you need to go with. You know, we can take it out for a spin. You guys can see. So you guys can see I've got Horizon Lock on. This is 4K 30. I don't have it on the 5.3K, but. Um, you know, it's fun. You can just kind of throw it around. It, it stabilizes really well. If I wanted to set it down, you can place it on its tripod here, setting it down, and uh, it's pretty intuitive. Point it up. You can frame your shot. Step back. You guys can see here that uh, I can speak to camera, and it still has me in shot, and it's, uh, you know, really good quality. You can pick it up. You got your wrist strap here. You can twist the head. Still have all of that, those options here available for uh, shooting a vlog. With that said, my Pungios, uh, this was a test of the Volta battery. I think it's worth it. $100 for at least, uh, you know, 100 and what, 28%, like I said. That's, that's a good deal for me. Be able to have uh, the remote here on the back as well. And then if I want, I can separate this and uh, disconnect it and still have the remote work for up to like 30 feet, which is pretty cool. Um, I like it. I think it's a great all-in-one encompassing rig. You have the ability to uh, put all of your attachments on here as well. If you wanted, you could add you know a couple more here on top like the, uh, the monitor mod. With that said, guys, if you like this content, if you thought this was helpful, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.
I hope I'm 